All right. Oh, I am really loud. All right. How is everyone doing tonight on this fine Saturday evening? Encore. Encore Esports Mario Kart Tournament is finally back after multiple months of being gone. And we have a massive tournament up here. Bunch of heavy hitters. Two of the favorites on the screen right now, Darky and Casper. And my name's Awoke, and I'm joined by my friend Luckyo. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Um, this is the first time I've ever casted in something like this, so <laughs> this is going to be new no. for me. <laughs> nah, you're all right, man. You're all right. <laughs> and... Rules of this tournament are going to be very similar to all of the previous Encore tournaments. However, we are going to be playing DLC only. And for the first rounds, it's going to be six races on just whatever DLC tracks get chosen. The final round will be one race on each of the eight tracks, the eight new tracks that were introduced a few weeks back. So DLC only today. So we're not going to be playing MKS or Excitepike today, and I'm very happy about that. And yes, obviously you can't uh, repick in these... Uh rounds of, so of course and uh casper kind of off to an unfortunate start burning out at the darky beginning and now uh, stuck in seven front. darky yeah. with already a break but that blue will have something to say about it this he crazy eight probably from still casper. Be in first yeah. though, so. he probably will still be in first that waluigi in second uh, goes for casper in sixth oh fifth yeah. now that's huge for him yeah. he has to predict the shock and then he's really uh pretty nice position yeah and these in these lobbies, you know, really anything can happen. He's going to have to be forced into the ghost there because Double shoot his second. Probably taking light a cut right here. Yep. yep. Dark hits a Nana, though, and Casper's going to yeah, have a Casper now bigger lead. First, but probably going to hold the shoot. He sees maybe. that red and that red that just skipped. Ooh. It skipped Casper, but he did unfortunately end up getting hit by the car. Darky's still holding on to his red. Probably going to chain it here. Yes, he will. And pulls another one. That's ideal for him. And he's about to have double defense in first with this blue coming for Casper. Makes his way up there. And he will get two boxes and unfortunately Ooh, hit a taxi. Yeah. Yeah. He's not in the worst position right now. His coin count is okay. He has a shroom. He's about to take glider cut. This is not bad. Yeah, it's not bad for him. Darky, however, is looking really good for him. There's not going to be another blue. Barring yeah. Shock, and even then, I don't think Shock is going to stop I him think from Darky getting first here. Bag. Yeah, Darky's got first, definitely. And Casper might be holding second here. Yeah, no, look at the Casper. The Titans of this round. Yeah, oh, Casper's ahead by. Two already. Yep. So. I just realized their names are. Uh, yeah, Darky is, using, Darky is using your name. Oh, no, they're fixed now. Yeah, they're fixed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Darky's also using your name. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. A well-fought race by both of them as the shot comes in at the line for whoever passed in 8th and ninth. I'm assuming top 5 advance? Uh, I believe it is top 3 per lobby advance and everyone else goes down into the 200cc wow. redemption bracket. Alright. So, thankfully, we've practiced 200, so if we get, by, we get knocked down there, then uh, we'll be better off. But both of us are going to be playing in separate group qualifiers so probably gonna have some rotations in the cast but it's nice to see this many people show up i think we have about 30 people right yeah well, 30 plus people yeah i mean first mario kart tournament here in what seven eight months and yeah, seven, eight months. yeah i remember last time it was like it was like what maybe 15? 20 15, 15 maybe 20 yeah. yeah i think they said it was the most they had in this uh land yeah, which is great. Uh, Lancine so is really popping off right now, and I'm proud of Darky everyone that's actually going out to the first, tournament. Going on Choco Mountain. Yeah. Casper drafting off him, though. Yeah. They're kind of... Casper has no items, so he's going to have to go for the dubs here. Right, and... Uh, an expected coin pull for Darky. Casper is sitting here with two shrooms. Not looking Obviously good. Obviously, he used one of them it. here. And we'll probably just grab another one here. Uh, that Bitty Buggy is Ooh, right next to him. Those from Encore 6 coming. Yeah. I'm not quite sure who that is. Well, fire as we'll well. Find out. But this guy is out for Casper, whoever they are. And it uh, looks like they got hit out. So Darky yeah. and Casper are just... Once again, again, yeah. Yep. Darky's I mean, coin count is... Yeah, Darky's coin count is surprisingly not very high. 
Casper, however, only missing one. And Casper has 10 coins, yeah. which means he's probably going to catch up the Darky pretty quickly. Yeah, that, that Horn is a good pull for Darky, but he, since we're on split screen, sees that Casper has that red there and is going to have to use it prematurely, probably. Forcing Darky to use his Horn. Oh! And pulls another red, so. This is good for Casper. This is really good for Casper. He can red him probably at this set, and then uh, if, he, if set. he's able to hold on to that. Darky's going to try wall dodge. Does not do it. Casper has a Shuman first, but. Oh, he bag. I think he goes for a second place box because yeah, he does, and that will get him red. a shroom, which isn't bad. Not bad for him. Yeah, and it's definitely it's a two man race. There is something to be said about the skill gap between once you Chaining have shrooms. been playing this game for a long time. Well, Green might do something with this. Yeah. Darky in actually a pretty good position right now because yeah, Casper even double if he pulls double Casper? reds. <gasps> Either way, yeah, yeah no, I mean, he has another yeah. defense item, and yeah, he's going to be fine up there, and so is Casper getting second once again. They're getting top two again. So, they are set off to uh, very solid start. A pretty good lead. Yeah. Especially on third. Whoever that uh, video buggy player was in third, that was right on uh, top of both of them. Also kind of making a name for themselves, showing that for at least a little bit of that race, they were able to hold on for a solid amount of time. And I do believe that, uh, if I remember correctly, the way this works is since we're playing on split screen, uh, the players alternate track picks. Oh, yeah, they're going to have to. So, But there are some... Uh, yeah. Uh, players who have their own screens. Like, for example, the, you see the Toad Circuit? There's only one Toad Circuit there, so that guy is uh, has a pretty good advantage. I wonder if it actually is that guy on well, the... Well... <laughs> <laughs> it's not that guy. M maybe it is that guy. Who knows? <laughs> that was such a coincidence. Wow. Yeah. All right. Ninja Hideaway, though. Ninja Hideaway. One of my personal favorites. A Probably technical track in this uh, DLC. Yeah. By far. I'm pretty sure he's watching right now, so shout out to him. And unfortunately for Casper, uh, I believe that Reb was going for Darky and was able to get it off and clips it. Uh, get it off to hit Casper through his defense, so he's going to be sitting at the back here at the beginning. Darky had a pretty and solid waiting game. for the platform. I like that. That's smart. He probably wants the coins. Yeah, definitely. And wants this double in a low spot. And okay. the plan is Star's pretty good. Star's pretty solid. Yeah. Top path a questionable position. Actually, no. He's getting more coins Might for going top path. Or wait no, for no, it's for coins. It's for coins. Yeah, yeah Casper. What he does here. There's Jeez. no Nesgum 150, buddy. He knows. He knows. Yeah. He's back down to the bottom. And Darky just gonna be in second. Probably gonna wait for the guy in first to get blue. Yeah. Smart up. Yeah. Always do Yeah, We will probably eventually figure out who that is. On course six because they are. Oh, they actually, fell off in bottom path. Really the platform. Unfortunately <laughs> for them, uh, platform not quite up at the top in time, and they've fallen back down to second and have to compete with Casper's triple greens now. Not the most ideal position, and they Ooh, do and get trailed Casper out. Casper trails them out. Yeah. So and there, these guys are going to be top two again. Yeah, for the third race in a row. And the question is, are they going to be able to hold on to it? Not with third getting shocked into set like that. Oh, that's that's going to be yeah. huge for third, especially with third. Third definitely has the. Uh, uh, time to pull like triple shrooms or something. Yeah, for sure. And I'm not quite sure anyone dodged that shock, so yeah. Darky looks like he's in, in trouble right now. Casper has a red. Yeah, behind. Casper's got this red. Gonna maybe attempt to. Ooh. Waiting for the top platform again. Yeah, that's actually really that's actually good smart. for Darky. Boy, the, the blue, over. unfortunately, is not good for Darky, but he did make a smart play there to Getting stay in first as long as possible. Casper, has double defense Casper now first. with double defense in first he is looks set in to a uh, really, really good position. Exactly. That Biddy player still in third, maybe with an item, maybe not, could potentially do some damage to this top two lane that they've been having the whole time. Uh, different player getting uh, second. And time. yeah, no. Darky is just going to hold on to these. Oh, wait. Darky waiting for Casper at the line. Or Casper waiting for Darky at the line, my bad. But Casper really tried doing it own. Once again, they will be getting top two this time, though Casper getting first. In, as contrary to Darky uh, beating him in the first two races. So, a little closer now, but they've definitely been running away with us the whole time. And 
at this point, it's looking to be a battle for third for who's going to get that last spot to go straight to the finals. Earlier, I saw three of we tie for, uh, for third right now. And so. right now, it is 16, 15, 15, and then there's wow. two people not that far behind. Four people battling out for third. Yeah. It's going to be really tough for them. Yeah. Th those people really, really want to get into this final, and they're going to have to fight for it with... Now three la three races gone, three races to go. We're halfway through, and a lot of coconut mall coming out. Yes, we are halfway there um, on our round one of uh, qualifiers. Mm -hmm. This should be good. And we have Toad Circuit for the third race. This may favor those that are starting in the back and not so much the front as the shortcuts on this track are absolutely incredible. They save so much time, and Darky is looking to take advantage Darkie of that. Darky is going to be bagging. Casper's going to be running. We're going to see yeah, two running. different ends. Darky uh, showing off the Coke to the camera. Unfortunately, we're not sponsored. And also, skill tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got skill tracks up in here. Definitely skill tracks. Oh, Casper's going to be Casper, bagging. Casper's going to bag for the coins, and they are writing. in bottom two at the moment, which is not too surprising. I would not be surprised if that third bitty buggy player that we still are not sure who that is would be in first running at the moment. You see they've got that break and as far as these two, they're just going to be staying back here for as long as possible trying to prepare for lap three Cost in a sense. Way because this box here. Yeah. He might get the shock at this spot. Bo both these players trying their best to prepare for lap three because on a track like Toad Circuit, that will be the most important lap, important lap of I the race. I think I see what Darky's doing. Yeah. I think Darky's going to hold us for the entire race. Yeah, I could definitely see him shrooming up here and then maybe... Oh, beginning smart bounce. Yeah, unfortunate smart bounce gonna have to force on the, his end. to take the cut. And now with a shroom to start in second. Casper getting back. The back onto Casper These two are in huge. Uh, a lot of trouble right yep, now. Darky's not. Well, you cannot tell me Darky's in trouble right now as he goes <laughs> through the cut to start in second. Well, I mean... Nah. Thankfully, the players in the back smart enough to not dodge him. Maybe not thankfully for Darky, but... It looks like, uh... Oh, this is Encore 2. Yeah. We'll yeah. be getting blued, and... Casper does have the shrooms. I don't think it'll be enough to catch up to Darky. Oh, unless those triple greens have anything to say about it. Back, Goes for the back and can't quite get it, and... Once again, a top two. This time, Darky getting first. Close. That was a close battle between those two. Again. Yeah. And it looks like... Yeah. <laughs> the battle for, for third still for the third is, down uh, there is still as close as ever. 21, 20, 19, 19 down there. Yeah. There's a final spot just begging to be taken by one of those four players, and we may eventually find out who that is. I think these two have gotten first and second like twice now. Like each. Like no, I believe Darky's right? gotten first three times and Casper's gotten first once. Because Casper, because Darky's ahead by a few points. Oh, so okay. yeah. Unfortunately, on this screen, the names are still swapped. Uh, Darky's the one on the left, but they're both on their phone, so it's not like you can tell. <laughs> a lot more Coconut Mall. It's gonna be either Coconut Mall or Paris Promenade here. Both. I hope it's uh, Coconut yeah. Mall, and it's not. Yeah, in between the four of them, and. We are going to be playing on Paris Promenade. Predominantly a very heavy running track. Uh, not much uh, shortcutting to be done over here. There is the one at the end, but it's really not that influential in terms of how the race will go, especially considering where in the track it is. So both these players are going to be looking to just get ahead as fast as possible, steal coins from each other when they can. Casper will have the advantage here as this is um, this track is better for Mr. Scooty than it is for the Wild Wiggler, which Darky's on right now. Inward's not bad here as well. Earlier yeah, Inward, the, inward uh, isn't bad here. Back when he was inward, yeah, so. and but Casper currently on the combo used in the time trial world record being Roy Mr. Scooty, so looking to take advantage of that where possible. Kind of surprised Darky can go out for those doubles and throw the red at Casper, but he's going to be sitting here with just a single nana, throws it away into the sidewalk, uh, and is going to be getting redded. Yeah. Definitely should have held that. Yeah, and now Casper's 
got a massive break right now. It may not seem that big, but it really is one a long blue way for just, anyone to you know, turn it around. Yeah. One blue could maybe turn it around, but with the way Casper's been playing, I don't think that's going to be happening. And yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. With 10 coins, even a blue, I think, would still have him in first by a reasonable amount. Darky going to be uh, taking the faster route to the left over there and making his way back into second, grabbing double reds. Unfortunately for There's him, There's a blue though. coming now. Yeah. Fortunately and also, him, I taken. actually want to see if uh, Caster's going to be uh, going around past some people. No. And he is going to be taking the blue hit off the glider, which is smart because you do get spun up for a lesson on a time. He will have defense now. However, Darky with double reds looking to do something about it and could potentially try and red Casper off the track up here at this glider. I suggest he uh, holds down. And is going to be getting another way. box in second. Gets oh, four oh, reds. Set. Yeah, Darky set. Unless fire does something about it. Yeah, unless the fire does something about it. Another red for Darky. Casper and that will go towards Casper. But Casper he has, has double, double defense right yeah. now. He may pull more reds here, but it will not be enough. Yeah, not be Casper enough. Even if Darky takes grabbing cut. first here. A great run by him and Darky, despite the efforts and the amount of reds he pulled, still grabbing second. Top and two from for these the guys fifth top two in a row. Once again. Yep. Blue Falcon player. Blue reasonably Falcon close player, in third, uh, though. Yeah. Pushing up there now. Yeah. And He's it in, looks like they're they're they, yeah, they are tied for third with that DK. And there's multiple people Battle that are within five points there. So if one of them can sneak into the top two spots ahead of Darky and Casper, then... Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but stages they're allowed to pick right now are Sky Garden, Coconut Mall, and Tokyo Blur. And Tokyo Blur. Unfortunately, oh no, a team accidentally. Unfortunately, yeah, one of the switches accidentally uh, choosing Paris Promenade once again. So it's all right though. Hopefully, we can avoid that. We've got about a seven and nine chance to not be playing that. But it's besides those two going to be evenly split between Coconut Mall and Tokyo Blur. Actually, no, it's not. I can't do math. It will be Tokyo Blur, though. Crisis averted. And once again, another track that is going to be favoring Darky and Casper here, as this track is very friendly towards those who are at the front of the pack and decide to run. Maybe not much so on lap one, but if they're able to hold their top spots throughout lap one, then lap two and lap three, much easier to run on. So they will be looking to take advantage of that and uh, get their sixth and final top two in a row. Gonna find yes. out if that happens. Tokyo Blur is uh, one of the uh, big runners because there isn't really that many cuts. The only one cut yeah. is the ramp at the... Uh, and you can do that with no mushroom. So yeah. you, One, you can do that with no mushroom. Two, you can only do it on two of the three laps. Exactly. So not very useful. Darky, however, often you go around it to grab the item box. Wouldn't that mean there's uh, two laps in a section? I would call them laps. Call them because laps? Yeah, I, I would say call them maps because they all have the same finish line and they all have the same at least first turn and final straight away. Okay. There was debate on whether or not they should be considered sections. For Paris Promenade specifically, um, we found out that there was a glitch in the uh, track and time trials mode where um, just like the section tracks in the regular game, uh, the timer can only end in uh, decimals that are on the same number as a frame. So... Maybe that would be considered a section track by some, but this one not because it doesn't Casper have that issue. Casper has a star and a shroom and look at first. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Casper Casper is unless so close to first right now. Hope his star about doesn't to, get ghosted. Casper's about to have a star in first. He's going to chain it right here. He'd be stupid not to. Oh. No. And it, got and it ghosted. gets ghosted, that's, yeah. That's why we that's chain what our I was items. Afraid of. <laughs> that's why we chain our items, ladies and gentlemen. And um, he still looks Darky, right, unfortunately, uh is not going to be able to secure this final top two, and it looks like that means Casper's going to be... It looks like they're the not going to top two here. Yeah, whoever that player it's is in the, second. It's the N-word. The N-word? Yeah, the jet, the jet yeah. bike player. Could be, the, could be the Biddy as well. Oh, no, it was. It was yeah, jet bike player. Same over there. So... Oh, wait, that's not jet bike. Looks that's like a Comet. Yeah, no, looks like they just secured their spot they in the finals third. by one point. Nice. And Congrats yeah, to them. Well, well done to them. Well figure out who that is in a moment, but really close very, very round. dominant. Oh, look, it's us. Yeah, very, very dominant performance by Darky and Casper there. Uh, getting top two on five of the six races on the last one, getting one three. And uh, they are definitely both people to look out for in the final round. But that was only the first of three pools. And then 
before we can even get to the finals, we're going to have another two uh, redemption matches after that. So plenty of Mario Kart left to be played. Uh, plenty of uh, more players to be seen. And uh, I believe uh, once in, this, in a minute for Group 2, I'm going to be heading down there. You're in Group 3, right? I'm in Group 3, yeah. You are in Group 3, so, so I might... Gonna do some caster juggling potentially. I might depending not on who wants cast to hop this on the mic. My, my throat's kind of. Yeah, no, I, I I convinced you to get on here, but thank you for doing so. Yes, it was uh, a nice casting. Yeah, for the maybe first ma time. yeah, maybe with two hundred, I'll get you to I come wanna, back on. Yeah, I definitely want to do two hundred. All right, well that's good. So, uh, when we do that, uh, we will see you guys then. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing on stream, but if I am, then I will see you there. But uh, wave two coming up shortly.
To be able to hear each other. Okay. okay. Oh, oh. Here we go. Hello. Hello. We're good. Okay. We're pretty much on. All okay. right. Welcome to. This is the second what, round. Pool right? two. Yeah. Yeah. Second round. Pool two, two of the uh, Mario Kart tournament today. It's been a. It's been. It's been an interesting show so far. Yeah, you got third. Yeah, I kept super excited about that. I <laughs> I clutched it like right at the very end. It was insane. Yeah. So far we're. It's got a little bit of like a packed house here tonight. Also, yeah. just the tournament, also just like hanging out here. It's a great place to hang out. I don't know if like anybody's ever like publicly said how like cool of a place like Encore yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. All right, so we're heading in. The first track looks like it's going to be Shroom Ridge. Shroom, dude, this all drifting. All drift. There, there's almost no chances to go straight here. It's just turning the entire way. Drift, drift, drift. It's all you need to do. This is going to be the first race. And just like that, they're off to the races. On our screen right now, you, we got Awoken and Kayona. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah. I really hope I'm saying that right. See, look at that. It's just all drift, nothing else. Make sure not to hit those cars. I know, know. yeah. And they didn't hit the wall either. It's killer. Look at Awoken. He's just going, going, he's going ham on those turns. Hey, oh, uh, um, oh, there's L. L is actually one of my friends has done that before. Mostly I'm just focused on Awoken here. Look at that. Look how, like, 
smoothly he's taking those turns. He really knows what he's doing. Right? He really does know what he's doing. It's amazing. Fortunately, no mushrooms for nope. anyone around here. No mushrooms. Yeah. When you, and if, unless you get that double um, item box, if you have a coin as your item, you're pretty much screwed. You're like holding on, you're clenching your butt for deal life. Yeah. There's not much room for comeback on this map. It's, There's it's not. If you if you mess up, you gotta cover some ground quick. It's better if you it's better if you get messed up in those early stages. Yeah. Well, now the two front runners here we have Kyoya. I I am sorry, I so don't know how to say it right, Paul, but Awoken's gonna get a blue shell coming his way. The tides might be That's current. not gonna be good. Yeah, he's gonna get and he gets by the course, so that's actually a little bit of saving grace right there. Yeah. That might have been intentional. I wouldn't doubt it, but I wouldn't doubt there it. is a mushroom for a little bit of a catch-up. Yeah, look at the way he's taking the inside edge. It's so smart what he's doing. Yeah, Logan's going to have something in his tail, but he's prepared. Yep, he, he was prepared. Got so another banana, cool. got another saving grace. For some reason, it seems like the blooper is such a force on this map. For the, what we just saw, yeah, the exactly. cars just kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah, and it, it's... You know, especially when you got to like, make such tight moves like that and you have a squid in your face or the yeah. squidding, it's going to be impossible to try and... Oh, Woken gets hit again. Ooh. He's going to be cutting it close now. Unless he can cover some major ground, it's yeah. going to be close. We got the triple mushroom up for Kyoya. I know, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, it might be. It Ooh. might be. It very much might be. Ooh, but not if you get stuck in the corner. No, uh, no, just, just short. short. Awoken pulls the dub. Look at that. <laughs> so smooth the entire way around. Wow. Never seen somebody retain their first place like that. No, especially in a competition as tight as this. Yeah. Like, hey, it was even, I when I was, uh, the previous round I was on, what, Toad Circuit? And yeah. um, the entire time I was at first and right in towards like the middle of the last lap, I got bumped down to third. It was yeah. super hard. All right, so we're going to get back there. Uh, looks like they're going to be doing the next selection. So basically what we just watched, what was the name of that track? Uh, what was it again? I'm blanking on its name. Damn. I played Mario Kart for years, and I'm blanking on its name. Oh, I don't know. doesn't matter anyway because it looks like the next one we're going to is the, the, the one in the sky. I'm blanking on names. I feel stupid. Sky Garden. <laughs> sky Garden. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Sky Garden. This is a difficult one too because – you're going to see it here in the beginning. There, there's a portion where you can hop on leaves, and if you fall off that, yeah, it's you're going to get set back. Yeah. All right. Can Awoken retain his lead? Let's find out. So far, I mean, hey, looking good. He's going to take the leaves. Look at that shunt move. No Ooh. flip on the first one. This is why let's see if somebody can get a double flip. Yep. Ooh. They're trying. Yeah, yeah. It's close again, but the banana was ready, and he's going to have another one already. Everyone looking. Awoken's like being some. very, very conservative of his items. Yeah. I'm just gonna call the other person. I'm sorry if I'm we keep mispronouncing him. Keo. Keo is really trying to get on Awoken's tail, but it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah. It's closed though. They're neck and neck. Uh oh, he wasted the banana peel. This is really he one wasted. mistake. Oh, but he got caught on the grass. He got caught on the grass, which is a little bit of saving time. But Awoken's still holding a strong lead. Keo tossed a banana forward, but nothing. Both? Now he's got a banana again. See, this is the, yep. the banana peel is Awoken's best friend right here. <laughs> and he, everything besides the blue shell is his best friend. Yeah, both players have been having a great defense this whole time. Yeah. Awoken's just able to skip right through that. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And the banana peel, of course, has it ready. Of course. I'm going to start calling Awoken the banana peel man. <laughs> We're just calling the peeler. There the you peeler. go, the peeler. Hey, that's got a ring to it. That does got a ring to it, the peeler. Heel's still far behind. Not sure what's happening to everybody else behind. Everybody else just keeps, seems kind of like spaced out. Yeah, th there's there's a clear like divide of what's going there's on. There's a here. dominance. There's a clear rivalry between these two. This shortcut that Awoken takes, I never could get the hang of that even while practicing. No. But he seems to have got it down. Amazing stuff by Awoken as he takes first place again. Like, look at that, dude. That's insane. That is insane. So dominant. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Keo right now has to be shaking his head. Woken's got to be sweating, <laughs> just sweating so hard. Yeah. Trying to get this. It looks like it's all natural. And, and this RNG is, is, is doing them justice. Oh, too. it really is, yeah. They've been, they've been having a solid defense this whole time. No, no, no coin does. No one else in the entire – there it is. Like, there <laughs> it is. Garden. Look, Woken's showing us Sky Garden. That's his track. That's his track. <laughs> yeah, it's been such a tight competition between Keo and Woken. It's been – Super Ooh. tight, and I wonder if it's going to stay that way or somebody else is going to try and challenge Woken next. Mm -hmm. 
because I would love to see one of the people who's been like, you know, kind of staying in the back, just letting these two fight it out, come up and be like, all right, enough is enough. It's yeah. my turn. Especially once we start getting to one of the more technical stages, like Ninja Hideout. Where Ninja Hideout, like yeah, a, where you have to be. Like a parkour I, map. I had practiced on it three times today when I got here hours ago, but mm -hmm. I just could not get it. It's so tough. The, the pressure got to me in the yeah. race. But enough of that. Coconut Mall, classic Mario Kart track. So glad to see this thing return in the game. Of course. I didn't even hear about this till today. Yeah, I, I, this is my first time actually playing on these, on these maps. I know, yeah. Coconut Mall was such a Mario Kart Wii classic. Ooh, Awoken almost took the down escalator. That could have really screwed him up. That. There it is, Encore 2. Encore 2. Whoever's playing as Encore 2 is really trying to say, ah, uh -uh, this is my show now. Yeah. They're really trying, trying to, to give take Awoken over. a run for his money. Awoken's looking strong, though. Strong as ever. He's doing little hops. Ooh. Heels falling back to fourth. Um, this is another one of those maps where you don't really have oh. much room for Oh, error. yeah. Keo got bumped all the way to seven. The Woken is now taking second after hitting a car. Oh, but a double Ooh. shell here takes him and the leader out. Forcing Woken back to fourth and the other and the other racers to come on up and take the lead. Encore 3 just just stealing. Encore 3 decimated him. It was like a little trade-off. Poor guys. Yeah, now Woken's got to pull something out, something out of his hat. Yeah, this is one of those maps that just feels like a brawl the whole way through. Yeah, th this map is a constant fight, especially if everybody's close. Mm -hmm. Awoken there using the drift nicely, not being too tight. He's taking it slow and steady. He's Encore catching up to four. Encore 4. When those cars right there, they used to move on the Wii yeah. version. That was a nightmare. <laughs> Guess they're making it a little easy on the players, the fact that it could... Oh, nice save by Awoken. Really nice. Yeah. He could oh, be taking first right now. He, yeah, he does. Oh, taking there it the, is. Taking the shortcut through the mall, he takes first. Wow, look at Awoken go. He really wants that, that he first wants this. run. He's like, give me that trophy. Give me <laughs> that trophy. Oh, Keo's getting the bullet bill. He's going to catch him. Ooh, he's pulling him all the way up to three. These these bullet bills, especially in like a map like this. That's when it matters. That's yeah. when it absolutely matters, yeah. And you can see on the map that there's like small little battles happening for like lower areas. Absolutely, too. and Awoken, a third first place in a row. Insane. Well, Keo gets to third. It's a little, he falls back a little bit, but he's, I think he still can retain a point lead, at least second in the standings. Yeah. He should. Either way, he's moving on. Either way, he is moving on. Awoken, let's not even talk about him. He's definitely yeah. going on, <laughs> no matter what. I'm scared to see any of the first rounders or any of the people of the final. The, the three that are in the finals are going to be Awoken, myself, I believe, and whoever else is with us. Yeah. That's going to be a <laughs> – I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be a very spaced-out race. You <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. But let's see what happens. You know, Keo is really trying to get, like, under Awoken's skin, trying to do whatever he can, it looks like, to uh, get in the way of Awoken just absolutely running away with it. Mm -hmm. You can see, too, he looks a little frustrated. Yeah. He does look a little frustrated. Especially with that seventh place. I know. And, of course, Awoken <laughs> showing off a little bit more. <laughs> All right, looks like the final one is going to be in the uh, the mind map. Uh, Choco, Choco Mountain. Mountain. Choco Mountain. I love this map. It's I love this one, too. Another this one, constant drift. Yeah, this one's another constant drift, and it reminds me so much of uh, Wario's Gold Mines from Mario Kart Wii. That's what, it's, it's such a nostalgic feel, and I love how they brought this kind of map back. But moving on. Oh, oh Keo with a no. false start. Oh, oh that's going to cost him. Oh, back. no. He's already he's already taking places, though. Yeah, he's already taking places, but that was a faulty start. Oh, poor Keo. Well, Keo is gaining some momentum back, okay, cutting through the, the mud with the, the mushrooms. Very smart move. And now that he's so far back, he will still get pretty good items. On the he still will get pretty good items. He's going to bust them up. And perhaps he'll save some of that for when he gets up there. Yeah. Perhaps. But he has to be smart. Ogun with another nice save. He's been so strategic this whole entire day. Yeah. He's been so strategic. Now, uh, Kyo has come all the way back to, back to third place. There's another player standing between him and his rivalry with Ogun. Awoken, you can see it on the map in the middle, just breezing through it. Yeah, just no trouble at all. So Absolutely just hopping ahead. around, breezing yeah. through it. He's got this. He's got this in the bag. <laughs> Unless a blue shell comes through in his day. Oh, it could. It definitely could. They're, they're, the link is so far behind that we, I know. we could see one come out. Nice of him taking that edge so we can avoid the impact. Yeah. Ooh, he almost caught a glimpse. Oh, bullet bills coming in from behind. 
Not enough though. Encore three stands in front of Keo, but Keo. Oh, did you see oh. that? That did you see Keo pulling the green show at the very end? Yeah. Plus someone's someone's front end. <laughs> now that person has to be salty. <laughs> Awoken's already at the entrance of my chef. Yeah, he's far ahead. Encore four standing. Oh, oh and Keo yeah. is. Oh, it's he's losing bomb. it. He's losing it. The nerves, the nerves. The nerve of that person with the bullet pill. Give Keo some room, man. He's an all star. <laughs> oh. Ruining the rivalry. Now Keo's falling all the way back to six. And Awoken. Even oh, there's a blue shell. Blue shell incoming. Even with the blue shell, he's just not going to so matter. Away. The person playing as uh, Metal Mario still has no chance. Awoken. Four oh. victories in a row. Oh. oh, my goodness. Someone stop this man. <laughs> He's got to slow down. He's got to slow down before he hurts himself. <laughs> man, those hand muscles are going to be hurting him. He's going to be quenching them for days. He's going to need an ice pack. <laughs> oh, man. What a show, though, that Awoken just gave off. Keo, he was so bad. I believe he still got second in the standings. Yeah. Which is impressive for him. Oh, and I forgot that we have a little more. We still have another, what, two tracks? Yeah, yeah, that was four. Four, so yes. We, we have got another two. Man, I can't wait to see what they pick. If they're gonna go for the more strategic, the hideout one, yeah, that might be Keo, that might be uh, Keo's game to win, and uh, what is it, Awoken's one to lose? Yeah, there's something ha at this that has to kind of slow Awoken down. I just don't know what it could be. This one is is kind of like a sensory overload. This uh, is a sensory overload because you, you, I had it too when I was racing. Uh, when, when you look at the staircase, the staircase that comes up at the at the end uh, the entrance of the temple. I missed it every time. Yeah. And I felt so bad because I was just like, that was my ticket out of here. <laughs> that was legit, my, like my ticket. That was it. Woken takes a found as a shortcut. That's a very sneaky shortcut. I don't know if a lot of people know about that. And of course, mm. takes the staircase. Keo behind him. In fourth, though. Oh, is he going to get the, the platform? Oh, he oh hits the platform mid drift. Wow. Boy, the shy guys. There you go, Woken. Okay, so. Not much of a lead. Everyone's pretty spaced in. What is this? I didn't know you could go up there. I didn't know you could go up there either. Keo finding some that? secrets I didn't even know about. This map is going to be so optimized in like this, a week. This race I can already feel is going to be close. Oh, I just shout about it. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is so good. He's not even in first right now. Who, who's no. Oh, it? now he is. Oh, no. Yeah. Right as I look back, he is. <laughs> is he going to miss the staircase again? Or is he going to oh. take it? Oh, of course. Got to take it. Bomb too. Yeah. He's learned. He's learning a little bit. Hold on to that bomb. It's going to cost you, but even Ooh. with the twist. Oh, no. That's so tragic. Oh, no. He messes it up and falls to third. Well, at least he doesn't have to suffer the ramp for the blue shell. How did he just dodge that red shell? That was crazy. I, I have no idea. Oh, but hits him there. Oh, I kind of knew it. I knew this would be the map where Woken looks like he's falling apart. And there's oh, Keo. The oh, shell. Keo is trying to fight again with Awoken. There's... Rapping oh, and third. Keo Ooh. gets gets some of his own medicine. Awoken's got the three mushrooms. Trying to take back a lead here. Pops with uh, a star. He could he could rise a couple ranks from this one. He could. Awoken tosses the bomb. Is it going to hit? No, it doesn't look like it. Is he going to go for the puddle again? No, he's not. No. I'd be surprised if there's a drift. Oh, and he screws up. Wait, what? What? Where did what? the boost go? When did this happen? Awoken finding secrets I didn't even know were possible. <laughs> that was that just looked like a glitch. That <laughs> didn't look like it was supposed to happen. No clip. And there he goes, take it back first place from whoever was at Encore 2. Just like that. Just like that, breezing through it. You can see the determination in his eyes. He wants this. <laughs> he absolutely wants this. And right there. He seals it. Seals it, that's it. Nobody's catching him now. Even if he places dead last in the last race. He's got this. It's He's got over. this in the bag. Wow. Insane. Awoken just looking unstoppable. I'd even when the first round was happening, I'd even keep track of where he was, but <clears throat> Yeah, he just absolutely looks unstoppable today. <laughs> Especially in this round. Wow. Alright, so we have one more. Yeah, we have one more, and I believe a lot of them are gonna go for the uh, either the Paris map or it could be I don't know. I'm th I'm thinking it could be uh, the one that's. Um, Have we gone to Tokyo yet? Uh, yeah, Toad Toad Circuit Tokyo or Paris. Those I think the ones to go to. Yeah. And uh, looks like two people need to repeat. It's okay though. 
So looks like we are going to Tokyo. Tokyo. All right. This map is, is really good. This map is really good. This one's kind of a best of both worlds. You need to drift, and also you need to be confident in those straightaways. Yeah. If you don't have somebody in front of you, <laughs> you might as well want to have somebody in front of you because you catch that slipstream. Yeah, Especially yeah, in the yeah. straightaways. I would know. Slowing down on the straightaways, it kills your momentum. Mm. And for the last race, we're off. And Kiyo has a full start. start. Oh, wow. That's two of those already. Maybe this Logan is he scratches himself up to first. Mm -hmm. Awoken's taking it. He's taking it easy. Yeah, he's holding the drift, not fully committing. There he goes. And this one's starting to drift early. That's what you got to do, especially on turns like this. Is he getting Four? enough? He does. Oh, the hopping the in hop. mid drift saves it. That's a thing a lot of Mario Kart players forget about. They don't yeah. do the hop as much. It does help save your boost. I completely forgot about that. As someone who's played Mario Kart for, what, 13 years? How long have you played it for? Uh, like five. Five, but even still, everybody should know that, like, that hop yeah. helps maintain your boost. He already gets to use again. He, just, he was and he, just here. He was just here. We it's just been, finished talking about it's it. It's five seconds. <laughs> it's been five seconds. Somebody stop this man, please. <laughs> Jesus. He's already third lap. And also, Kino gets in the third lap. Some people aren't even half a clear across the street yet. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh, Blue Shell might turn the tides a little bit. He's right there. Oh, it might. Oh, Kino. He's going to oh. hit him with a red shell. Yeah, he is. Oh, he takes he the first. Kino takes first. And he has defense. Oh, no. Oh. Awoken's getting pushed back. People are trying to say, stop. We don't want you to get a perfect crown. Now or, or a triple crown, yeah. Has oh, the, all the, the way back to seven. What a setback for Awoken. Then again, it's kind of... Uh-oh, Blue Shell. But it doesn't matter. Kyo sec Too secures fast. first place. And Awoken still gets top three. Top. Still gets top three in that race, but... Uh, you know he wanted the full 60. You yeah. know he wanted it. He was but so close. But it doesn't matter. Oh, Kyo actually tied with third place. Uh -huh. Funny enough. Is there going to be a tiebreaker? I don't know, but... We know who the clear winner is, Mr. Awoken. Otherwise, it yep. was Encore 5. It's a clear, <laughs> clear winner. Dominant. Wow. Insane. Yeah, so that was just nuts. You know, is there going to be a tiebreaker? Uh, I think. We'll have to find out in a minute, but. You don't need it? Okay, no tiebreaker. No tiebreaker. Wow, okay. So I guess they're just going to go with the fact that Kyo got second place. Yeah. It's amazing. Well. Well, an unstoppable like, performance by Awoken pretty much seals the deal. Yeah. So he's definitely yeah. going to be moving on. And in the finals, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, it's been fun casting with you. It has been fun. Very fun. Thank you. No, thank you. Mm -hmm.
Hello everyone, we are back here at Uncle Esports. This is Boom. This is Chiyoya along with Russian. This is round three of the DLC FS here at Uncle Esports. Welcome, welcome everyone. On this in this particular match we have Luckyo and Ice Tech and right on stream. Also here is Skilled Roy, Pierce, Polka, Murky, Mail, and Layla Sus. Alright. Skilled it? Oh, uh, all these players we got a pretty good roster on this one. Uh yeah. I know Skilled Roy is, is pretty, he's, he kind of tears it up on the track. Yeah. Luckyo and Stack, though, they've been in clans, and they've been the top two favorites in this round. As really? we saw first phase here at Coconut Mall from the Wii version. And note the difference between the last part of the track with uh, stationary cars. Yeah. We go on the way. Lights down, and away we go. It looks like Stack gets the, gets the lead. Meanwhile, Luckyo just passed him. All in pack, both had bananas. Trying to bring in drag. He gets the he gets the good one. He gets a good one, but both went wide. Luckyo dropping down in fifth after getting dragged by Stack. Stack really like in danger of taking his first being taken right. Yeah. Now. Pack following. Yep. Luckyo all the way down in fifth. Mero, I believe, is in at least fourth place. That's looking behind me. It's Skills Roy in second, and I do believe. Skilled Roy is second. Uh, it's hard to see on my commentary box. Oh, Stack box. is first. Stack is in first right now. Luckyo fourth. Who we got third right now? I do not know, but... Uh, we got... Skilled Roy is in third. Skilled, Skilled Roy just dropped down in third. They're all really not. tight right now. They're really tight. No one's really checked out. Maybe yeah. a second gap with uh, Stack right now. Uh, but Luckyo, the stream is top two right now. That's why they're on stream. But the inkling right behind just giving chase. Yeah. Yeah, that is skilled Roy right now taking the high line. Thanks. Meanwhile, Polka just back with two, with two uh, offense items. Can't also use defense. Ooh, but she hits a car on stream right now. Back to the stream. One and two as Luckyo gets hit with the fireball. And it's, I'm really on an attack oh, right now. This the is, gaps are just widening and widening. Yeah. This allows Stack to pull away from, away from the group. And the Mir, as we see, is in second. Battle for third right now between... Yeah, Pol between Polka and Luckyo right now. Mero in the mix for second. And Luck Ooh, and Luckyo gets hit. Yeah. He does have these triple nope. mushrooms to yep. him, though. I, there is a blue shell in play right now, but I think it's be a little too, little too late. As, yeah. yes, Stack does cross the finish line. And yep. he gets second. Uh, yes. Uh, Encore 2. Encore 2, that, that do believe that is Polka getting second. Luckyo down 6. We're just waiting for the final results. There it is. There we so go. So, official result of oh, race 1 is Luckyo, Polka, and I I missed the third one. I think that was. Uh, it I think that's Skilled Roy, I believe. Yeah. So that looked like a it was it was a pretty close game all around until the last uh, yeah. few laps where yeah. it just kind of it, it widened. Started, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stack really started to pull away from there. I don't think it was because of speed difference. I do believe the guys in between second and eighth are hitting each other. We mm -hmm. see it all the time. This allowed first one to get away as a giveaway for a second base at Sky Garden. Okay. One of my favorite tracks of the DLC pack. But it's a bit altered from the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Really? I do believe it, these are ports from Toy. So there's some major differences. Mm. Especially with the fire section. Also, the shortcuts on here. We Ooh, oh, false start. I do believe that is Luckyo getting that false start. Drop down to 8th, now in 7th. He has his work cut out for him. He chooses not to go for the, for the flowers, even though he has a mushroom. Yeah, you don't really don't need a mushroom for it. I think he's saying for that big cut uh, at the last turn. Both our streamers are just getting mixed in a pack. It's Skilled yeah. Roy actually. Skilled Roy in first. Yeah, Skilled Roy first. Nope, nope. Oh, he's oh, take it. It. oh, oh he dragged by, by Skilled motion. Roy. Oh, yeah. Now down a third. Not too bad right now. Polka defending her first place. Skilled Roy drops down to fifth, though. Yep, stack now. Right now, sounds counting his way through the field. And I do believe ahead of him. A lot of time is going up right now. It's down right now. Lucky you're really gaining right now. He's gaining, but I think he's just waiting for the right moment because this is only only halfway to lap two. We do not see anything that's going on with 
uh, first place right now. But we see him take first place as now. So I try to affect him this. Maybe build a gap. Maybe hoping these guys are still last race. Yeah. Get that. Get a gap. Oh. Speak up the Delbeck now. What do we do? Oh, oh, he had the horn. I did not. Didn't notice that. We did not notice that. We're too busy watching the action here. <laughs> A and lot of action taking place too. Yeah, first and second pulling away from each other. Now it's a really powerful third, but Stacks also pulling away. Fourth play. So it's really powerful. Fourth. Oh, that's oh, wow. a nice snipe by Stack right there to take. And he gets second. a star and triple mushroom. He's yep. kind of see. It's gonna be a one-two for the stream if we do not uh, pass out from all the flickering. <laughs> that that like. Yeah. Flashbang. Yeah. So the top three is Luckyo, Stack, uh, and Skilled Roy. Finishing, finishing third. Been really consistent, but we do have a tie for third. Remember, top three, move on. Top three, move on. Yeah. It's not as as la as round one, where yeah. the fifth, where the battle for third came all the way down to fifth, separated by two points. Yeah. I hope that later in the in the game we can find we can uh, kind of top that in, later in the tournament. Oh yeah. Uh, going over the format, if you don't know the format. Or oh, refresh it. Three rounds of qualifier rounds, six races each. Two redemption races, final races, all eight tracks in order. Meanwhile, and to differentiate the redemption, it's 200 CC. But let's focus on the last round, on this third qualifier, in the third race. Is this the last one? No. Th yeah, this is the last qualifier race. This is okay. race number three of three on Ninja Highway. Very interesting circuit with all the branching paths. Yeah. Most people say it's like Yoshi Valley, but I, I kind of agree with that, but it's more vertical. Because yeah. it's more condensed. It's not like we actually pass, you know, it takes different routes. Yeah. Just go up and down, but it's in the same place. And because of that, we can see some really neat tricks like Stack just did to yeah. skip the whole midsection. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, people are still trying to learn the timing of those bridges right there to get them up on the line. Mm. From uh, my test back in two weeks ago, it seems like the top line has been the ex has been the fastest line. Oh, stack! I do believe fell. That allowed Skill Roy to take the lead. I think that's the first time leading a lap here. Ooh, Luckyo just got pushed off with oh, the super no. point. Uh, two, a uh, top two in this uh in this heat. This Fourth map and really, fifth right now. This map really just tests how much you can practice it. Yeah, it is. It takes a lot to wrap your head around with all these branching pads. Yeah. And it's going to take a while, but it's been really popular as soon as you figure it out. Yeah. Because overall, this is a great map. Yeah. Top two, uh, top two, no, top three are getting away. And Luckyo goes into the rafters. Yep. Uh, who's in first right now? First place, Four. I do believe. It's the me actually. Your me is in first place and pulling away, but here comes the blue shell trying to bring him back. Tight. Yeah, I think Skilled Roy's gonna pass him. I, uh, Skilled Roy's in second right now. Yep, and I do believe he just overtaken, okay, overtaken me, a me player. Oh, but Stack first. just slips yeah. barely. Slips fit. Yeah. Top three pulling away, fourth and fifth on your screen right now. Oh, that was close. Those, th those. Shurukens, as you see, Stack got yep. spin out right there. You can't take them. That allows Lokyo to actually catch these guys. I don't think it's too little too late. There's barely any shortcuts on this track, so it's all about having a neat and tidy line, as especially in this last section where you can have these bumps right here. One bump, two bumps, three bumps. Oh, but he could take at least one place. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't no, end up doing it. Takes fourth. It was uh, Roy third. Uh, Roy third. It's Polka first. Mario second. Skillboy third. And then our streamer duo. Uh, Wit. Uh, I do believe that's Luckyo and Wit and Stack. Fourth and fifth respectively. I think they still have the points lead. I haven't seen this. Uh, yeah, we screen. were. Uh, too busy looking at our notes here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I think we all want to see her have notes. <laughs> Not a big big now notes but just yeah. uh, who's who that's why we can see that's able to call names on the stream makes it easier yep stream ridge traffic is gonna be big mm -hmm. uh, note 
there's some differences in the DS version, not too different. It's mm. only that glider ramp from the big shortcut. There's also this air pipe, which you see me take in round two, try to cut my way through the field. But traffic is gonna be a factor as head yeah. get ready for race four of six. They're getting away well, it's Polka in the, who takes the early lead. Luckyo just behind. Ooh, look. Polka just left the door open for Luckyo to take the lead. You really gotta be careful in this upcoming session. Yep. Oh! Cause... Or getting dragged, that was close. Ooh. Stack almost circling Luckyo out, and now they're 1 2 once again. That's Luckyo post play, but I do believe that's Mario trying to challenge. Fourth third, that's it, head up the hill again. Luckyo right now doing a really good job of dodging all these cars. Just yeah. Real tight. It's a real tight, but paying the Kirby, painting that white line, trying to keep a dead. Oh! Ooh, he barely. It back. He barely uh, dodged it, and that's going to cost him. He's down in fourth. Stack just overtakes. Yeah, overtakes and checking out right now. Almost a second ahead of second place Polka. King Boo, King Boo by the way, is Layla Sus. And she's killing it. Oh, can't see my bottom though. She was doing really good. Finally seeing the top three. Polka's trying to challenge Stack. Luckyo trying to do damage control here. Up to third. Here comes the Spiny Shell coming out of the section. Will he able to He big. does. He does. Ooh. Sabotage himself. That's actually going to save time. That's total momentum. As I do believe Polka takes first place. It's going to be a battle. And here comes Luckyo for trying to challenge as he head in a final lap. The gap is closing right now. Gap. It's real good. Real good. Spinal Shell nullified, did his job. Here comes the red. Taking out. Oh! Nope! Pass protection. The shock coming out. First and second, not too far off from each other. And that's going to neutralize still, yeah. This and whole pack doing a really good job of staying together. No, oh, no. First, we want P2 breaking away. We oh, now as soon as I say it. And they're just checking out. I do believe these guys are. Uh, Michelle coming in, though. That could be big. Yep, but I don't think it's going to be enough. To uh, change from one two unless you get hit by a car, and that allows both the rest of the pack to catch up. Luckyo takes first place. Stack. Oh, Ooh, gets that was just ba by a cut length. Takes second. Polka third, and we're waiting for the scores to come in. And oh, that's a lot closer than I thought. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah. So far, one two three separated by two points. Uh, fourth place. I do. If I did my math correctly, seven points back from third. There's still time as we head into race five, but mm. still mathematically possible. It's going to take a big effort, though. A lot of people picking Paris, man. Pa Paris, what a map! It's a map, and that's it's funny because it changed. When I was doing testing, I was wondering why that ultimate route is there. Third map. Oh, guys, what are we doing? Controller. Oh, someone didn't disconnect their pro controller. I'm using self control. I wonder if that's mine. No, it's not mine. Oh, we're going on Toad Circuit for race number five. Let's go. This. I'm still determining if this is a sandbag check or if you front run this. Because this is this two, well, one big shortcut at the end. And it's a very short track. This was the first track in Mario Kart 7 you race on in the Mushroom Cup. So yeah. this really is an introductory track. And with that, it's a very short, it's a very short track, very active track. Only oh. three sets of items here. Yeah. Luckyo just so far yeah. back right now. It's not looking good for him. Nah, I, I was too busy looking at Stack checking out for first place. I think Luckyo is actually trying to bag this track right now. That's it. Just... Yeah, he is catching up as we speak. I do believe that that's doing that. We've seen this before yesterday at one of games yeah. where a winner, which I will not spoil, uh, did the same thing. He was bagging half the tracks and he made a victory. Ooh. Almost got stack almost got sniped by I do believe Polka with that banana. Damn, he gets uh, a oh, plant and stack. triple mushrooms in third place? Yeah, and if you don't know, if you're new to Mario Kart 8, it's not based on position anymore. It's not based on distance of first place. So if you're a third, but first place is a good three, four seconds out, you might get shells, Ooh. mushrooms, stars. So it's real. So you gotta keep that in mind about your distance. Or what yeah. kind of items you get. That's why you see these in Snowball. There's also an update too. That 
made the respawn times for the item box faster. It was one second for it, now down to 0.85 seconds. Uh. There's plenty of other patches too that we're still trying to figure out. It does feel a bit aggressive, but we haven't gotten any confirmation. But the item re respawn, that's been confirmed. Okay. So right now, it is Stack, uh, Stack, Luckyo, and I do believe Pelka, the top three right now, moving on. To the last race, or was that this the is last the, one? No, this is the last race right now. All right. I, it's still very close for third. Okay, three laps, three laps left, guys. It is Paris, Paris, Chaco, and I do believe Tokyo is left yeah, on the we haven't gone left to Tokyo on yet. the map list. No repicks here. All right. Okay. Most likely we're getting to uh, Paris, but Chaco is also on the board. Let's see what we get. Paris. We are going to Paris. I'd rather go to Le Mans, but Paris <laughs> is nice. Paris is pretty good. Yes, we do have a battle for third, and Skill Roy is in it by four points back. Final race here, and round three of the qualifying race. Lights out, way to go for the last time here, round three. And it's the battle for first between Stack and Luckyo. Luckyo heading into the sweeper in first, only with a coin though. Let's they stack did pass. A really wonderful job with those tight turns in the beginning. Oh, Yo, yeah. I think he's trying to set himself up for a big run here. Now, there's branching pass here. You see Stack on your left mm -hmm. taking the faster route, but it has no items. Luckyo went on a slow route, but it has items, it has boost panels. He could set up a defense or an attack as he gets to this tight this tight rhythm section coming here. And, and Roy looking really threatening oh, with the speaker right now. I do believe Luckyo just got hit by his own green shell. Stack all Ooh. the way back in eighth. I was uh, too busy to look at Luckyo. Oh, who's in first right now? Uh, that, oh yeah, that is, that is Polka currently in first right now. And, and Roy in second. Yep. Going second, I do believe uh, that's uh, Mario in third. And a top two in points, way back right now. Mm. This might shake up if, if things finish as they stand. Because right now, I do believe Polka will get that transfer spot over Skill Joy. And yeah, she's checking out. Meanwhile, everyone else, especially the two on your screen, Luffy and Stack, just trying to make trying to do damage control right now. They're in fourth <laughs> and fifth, respectively, with Skill Boy holding them up. Get through the horn, trying to make something happen. Some, this is where things can go really? your way or not. They're just so condensed in the back that she's given so much room to just thrive in the front. Yeah, she has breathing room. Oh! Ooh, it's Skill Lucia. Boy had the, had the Piranha Plants. I don't think Stack uh, Made any effort to avoid it though. Well, it takes it. Lucky all the way to third. Yep, and with and the I, star. Yep, I think it's going to take a cut right here and we'll get second. Uh, Stack also getting third. Polka takes first. So who's. So moving Lucky on. Lucky got third. Yep. What? Oh yeah, he just had. Both of them took. Took cut. I think it was the last second, but the guys moving on. Testing to move on is Polka in third. Luck. What we can see here. Yep. It's Luck. Yeah. Luckyo, Polka, and Stack. Move all moving on to the finals. Everyone else, 200, 200 CC Redemption also on the DLC courses. And that's coming up next. Soon. All right. And yeah, thank you all for joining, joining us tonight. One of three lands happening across the country. We, of course, right here, Encore Esports here in New Rochelle. New York. There's also Brooklyn back in Brooklyn, but I don't think they have a stream right now. Mm -hmm. And later tonight, over in Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada, Saturday Night Speedway. Who can beat? Who's been winning a lot, lot lately? I forget. I think. What's the matter, man, Pidgey? It was, I forget who it is, but mm -hmm. he's been winning a lot. Are we gonna beat him, or we have a new winner? You can see. All right. Wait. Well, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back after this. Stay tuned.
Hello, and now we are we are back at it. Um, well, we're actually starting the uh, the 200, 200 yeah, 200 redemption. Yeah. Um, it's Luckyo here and side commentating with Woke. Yep, we are back, uh, ready for some 200 CC. So the way this is going to work is in each of the three qualifying rooms that we had before, the top three from each room all advance to the finals, which leaves nine which which leaves nine of the twelve available spots in. And we are going to determine in these two uh, two hundred CC redemption rounds who are the last three people. Now you may ask, there's two people left and there's two rooms and there's three people left to qualify. How is this going to work? So, if you get first in your respective room, 
you move on. If you get second, it comes down to which second place player from each room had more points. So let's say right now the two player on, let, let's say the two players on screen right now. Let's say skilled Roy gets first and Babron gets second. If Babron gets more points than the person in second in the other room, he'll be in the finals in that scenario. So that's exactly. how we're working. That's how we're going to get the last few people into this finals room of 12. And we're starting off on Ninja Hideaway. And uh, Ninja Hideaway is definitely uh, probably the hardest track on 200cc. Maybe in the whole game. Yeah, probably. At, in, the, in the DLC, at least, probably. But especially potentially the, uh, in the entire game. Especially the uh, NISC. It's uh, yeah, pretty iconic NISC. for this uh yeah. In this track. yeah, the ending nisk found by yours truly. We're going to see if either of these players are going to go for it here. Bronze going Bron's for it. Try it. And I think he made it. Yeah, he did. Barely makes it. Yeah. Horn in first. And um, going to use that horn to yeah. clear out the nanos. Which I would say is a smart move because with the distance that he's created between him and second place, like second place is one stars right now. Even if he gets blue or TS, then he's going to be fine. Also, another thing you could do is about the blue is you can outrun the blue on this track. You can definitely proof it. You can, which is what, can. I, which is what I did yeah. before. Another thing that, <laughs> another thing that you can do on uh, 200 CC in this game is outrun the blue shells, which is uh, which is really this is yeah. what it's really what I really like about them. Yeah, mode, so. part part of what defines the meta and part of what makes it fun, but. But Braun running away with his first race, and uh, seems as if like looks both as if the people who are getting casted are yep. top two. Yep. We've seen this before. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. seen this before. It's gonna fly happen again. Yeah. With Dark and Casper in the first round, we get to watch them basically get top two every single race. But now with uh, these two players, it's gonna come down to who has 200 CC experience because this is a mode where you very much have to know what you're doing in order to succeed. This isn't something that you can just pick up and immediately learn. You have to actually practice every single track. Mainly lines, uh, Mainly lines, factor yeah. in this world, so. Yep. Headed over to Tokyo Blur next. And if these two players on here can manage to hold on to the top spots that they've been getting, then we could be seeing them in the finals. But run on that horn like a madman. Braun with that nice Mario cosplay as well. Yeah. Like Shout out to Mario. I think he was wearing a Wario cosplay yeah, last he time. Wore, he was yeah, he wore Wario last time. Yeah, it was Wario last time, Mario this time. So Can't wait to see what he does next. Still keeping up the spirit. And uh going to try and hold down first here on Tokyo Blur. Tokyo Blur is one of these tracks where if you're just at first after the first lap, you just basically yeah, then you're, you're able really to position. run. Yeah. Really good position for the rest of the race. And, and this especially is if... What's As happening we can back here right now? Happened with everyone behind LeBron just hitting themselves out, then they're just letting him get further and further ahead. Yeah, so. as you see right now, LeBron has like a five to six second lead. Yep. And doing the NISC, it's uh, to do a shroomless. Yeah. Ahead by a considerable margin, and this bill could get skilled way all the way up to second. Right. Unfortunately, um, I do not think you time. cannot run the blue in this lap. I don't think it's possible. I think, it, I think it's very difficult. It's probably I, really difficult. We are probably not going it, to see it, so. and yeah, there it goes. Trying to get the Nana to hit him so that he can mitigate the blue. You see Skiroi coming up, far. Star. Kind of messing up his line a little bit, and it's leaving room for that lovely player right behind him to maybe take over first. He's going to make it in time. No, he and is not. LeBron gets Very first close again. Skiroi gets third. Not yep. top two this time. Not top two this time. So. And I'm not quite sure how well that Ludwig did last time. Oh, they got sixth in that last race, so Skilled Roy able to hold on to second for the time being, and right now for him, it's pr he's probably thinking, you know, I don't know if I can get first, but I'm going to try and get as many points as possible while I still can so that I can make my way into yeah, definitely. that, not sec first, that but second place last chance Not spot. first, but definitely possible to still advance. Of course, and we're going to have to remember that point total for when the second group comes up. Whatever that may be after the next couple races. <laughs> hey. I'm good. We got Shroom Rich here. Coming up for race three. Yep, Shroom Rich here. We we played Sorry, my for, yeah. We played my former world record track over in Ninja Hideaway and now we are on yours in Shroom Rich. 
<laughs> you know much more about this track than I ever will, so tell the people about it. So, Shroom Ridge is basically, um, if you play online, uh, it's not the best. <laughs> but time trials is actually pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. um, online, you have to avoid the cars, you know the pattern. Yep. Um, you see that car at the surfboard? Yeah. We named that Brody. Yeah, we named that Brody. So, <laughs> the players um, that were uh, trying to learn and optimize this track in time trials, the top players, uh, they decided to get creative and come up with as many names as possible for a bunch of the different elements on the track. So any car any car with a surfboard, uh, we call that Brody. Any other car, like the one that he just hit, we call that Brady. Yes. Any of the trucks, we call them Hank. Hank. And then uh, and there's, there's, one, there's, one, there's one more that we might see later on, depending on what these two players do here. Uh, let's see. Skilled Roy fire coming on from with Skilled his fire. Roy. Skilled Roy's have fire. Yeah, it's unfortunately for him, though, looking to be blued in one moment. We'll be getting but Bron kind of getting stuck on that wall, and now yeah. is sitting with nah, a so red watch it for that car. Yeah, not yeah. quite sure where that last player is. Right? Okay, there they are. And it's really a battle between these red three. Red for Bron. Bron, instead of Ooh, throwing Ludwig his defense, gets hit does, uh, still throw it out goal. and gets redded for it. Um, still in first, and Skilled Roy trying to navigate his way around the triple nanos. Unfortunately, not quite able to do so. And is going to opt to last take this turns. glider car. I don't think this is probably be. the most yeah. uh, dangerous turn. Going to be getting a tunnel. Going to be getting a mushroom here. Meeting with Brady one more time. And thankfully, oh. yeah, thankfully, a Skid Roy yeah. taking that cut. Yeah, and uh, the, the wind shortcut, which is actually faster than the glider. It saves on 200 a lot. It, it saves, saves lot. way too much time. So um, what we we're going to say is before the cut, there is before a the rock. There's a before the cut. There is a rock to the right that uh, we've given the name of Swanson. And Swanson. Uh, it's very easy to hit on uh, the optimal world record line because of where you have to trick off of the wind, which is over off to the right so that you get lower air. Let you land on the ground faster, accelerate faster, all that stuff. Time trial optimization. There are some times when in Shroom Ridge, you get like trick on the wind. Sometimes you get really high tricks. Sometimes the tricks can be really low that you can't even do the climb. Yeah. Sometimes the trick sends you so high that you end up bouncing off of a car and then off the track off of the car. Shout out to Michael. <laughs> Final race here. Toad Circuit skill track. Yeah, skill track, of course. Be track somewhat track somewhat better DLC. suited for running on 200cc than it is on 150 just for the sole reason that the shortcuts save less time because the track is shorter. And with this track... Being less than a minute long, I believe the world record right now is about 56 seconds. By time Army. trials by our friend Army. It's another shout out. But yeah, a very short track, which makes any power items coming into play uh, not very common because they don't spawn until after 30 seconds. Unfortunately, Babron running into those nanas that are over onto that path over on the right. That red's going to be an issue if he can't get deep out of the running the red, though. Yeah, nice. Barely able to out the red for long enough. The However, there's, there's another, another red coming, coming for him. Oh, never mind but it was Ludwig actually going it. for that Ludwig player, so he's sitting pretty in first at the moment. And I think he's actually on a perfect GP pace. Is he not? I think so. I can't remember what. Yeah, yeah. he is. Yeah. That Nana's like still out there. And. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a bomb throw from Babron. I think but Braun was just trying to show off, you know? If that was intentional, then I've never seen a better play in my life. I Gotta give the Braun mm, some respect for that. Was, was that intentional, Luckyo? That was probably not intentional. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree that that was not intentional. However, um, it ended up working out for him, and he is able to walk away with a perfect run, four straight first places. And as for Skilled Roy... Getting second, 21 with points. 21 points. That's the number we're gonna have to Add remember. That to the score. 21. Remember that. Yep. Yep. So if whoever comes in second place in this next run scores more than 21 points, then they will be moving on to the finals. If they score less, then we will be seeing Skilled Roy one more time. Um. Yes. Uh. There's gonna be. Remember, one more. Hello, room. Darky. <laughs> Hello, Darky. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, there is gonna be one more. <laughs> yeah. There's gonna no, be say hi to the people. Say hi to the say people. Say hi to the people, man. Say hi to Yo, yo! What's, what's up? up, guys? This is rank three right here. The grandmaster himself. Yo, this is rank three. 
is me. <laughs> I just came. I was just drinking some soda, eating some party mix. Look, it's Casper right there too. We got the whole squad here. The whole squad, man. Yeah, in just a moment, we're going to be coming back with uh, one more round of 200cc. Thank you. We're going to be coming back with one more round of 200cc in just a moment, so stick around while these idiots behind us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later.
All right, Luckyo, we've got four more races at 200 CC yes, sir. to get ourselves through. And we've got one more group of players here. We got someone showing something on the screen. I can't quite tell what that is. Looks Jack like a card game. Probably. But either way, we got four more races at 200 CC to watch and commentate. And magic number right now is 21. If the player in second place can score 21 or more than 21 points, then they will be moving they on tie? to the finals. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happens if they tie. Maybe it's just like Rock, Paper, Scissors, Fight to the Death, something like that. But what we do know is oh, that wow. whoever comes in first is going to qualify. Whoever and if the player that finishes in second can score more than 41 <laughs> Yo, points. Yo, monkey on the bug. Then they will be moving on to the finals with Babron. And we've got Coconut Mall ahead of us first. Shout out to DK Streetle, which would normally would normally not be considered that amazing. Thing is, though, there's no anti gravity in any of the DLC tracks. That is true. So, so the Streetle is actually chilling. Streetle's on not. Yeah. Yeah. Streetle's pretty Chad combo. Yeah, I love this. So love myself. the Streetle. Oh, 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 oh. Coconut Mall, however, does not love the Streetle. Unfortunately, for fishy business. Ooh. You see Mayro here. Mayro over Taking to that nice yeah, cut. Yeah, over to the left. Over here. Doing some doing nice glider nice stuff. First. Pretty set, pretty set. Hope yeah. it doesn't get ghosted though. Yeah. Starting to go up the down escalator. But is still holding on to first by a considerable mar margin. About to be ahead by about two turns. And that blue coming out from fourth, he is going to be able to horn that barring any ghost coming out into play. You cannot. Cannot out oh that's uh, that's unfortunately yeah, trying to cut a little bit too much off the glider and getting counted out of bounds for it. But I appreciate that I appreciate that he's even trying the glider cut in the first place because that's difficult. Yeah, and that's actually really um difficult. you know there was recently a motion glider discovered there as well, which Oh yeah, that for was yeah, which which for those that don't know wow. is uh when you use motion controls in the glider, you get a big handling bonus, and you can take turns way tighter. Uh, it's player, ridiculous. Yeah, a player named HGT figured out how to use that on this last turn on Coconut Mall here by motioning to the left and then to the right for one of the strangest strats in this game. Nobody's going to be doing that here, of course, because the time save is not worth it for just a regular online race. But despite not using it, Mayro still able to get first. And as we and can see here, Mayro... Um, uh, Ran yep. for free and got first. Yep. Nice run, Mayro. Huh? Okay. Well, either way, whoever. Either way. Yep. Still got random uh, pickers in here. Pickers. We could we could end up playing a normal track today, but. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, we're playing a base game track. Oh. 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 Close. We were close. We got we our Shroom away. Ridge. But, hey, we're fine. We got our Shroom Ridge. We're chilling. I know Lucky is happy. This is oh, your yeah. track. My track, bros. But, yeah, something to keep in mind is that second place get seven points for each of these races, so if someone's able to manage second all four races, then they will be solid and through. It's going to come down to what the pack looks like. It seems as if um, Mayro here has pretty well established himself as uh, the player to beat in this room, able to break away on most tracks, and with that dominant one on Coconut Mall showing no signs of slowing down here. As for the rest of the pack, it's going to be interesting to see how they fight it out. Fishy business over here. Looking to, grab, looking, looking to grab something, whether it be coins or items or uh, a trip down the ledge there. But... Fishy. Yeah. Uh, Mayro is... Uh, that bullet bell is going to... That bullet bell is going oh, to do wonders, though. That bullet is going to do pretty yeah. nice. As we, were, as, as we were saying before in the first qualifier, 200cc really is um, a skill-based mode, as in, like, you have to know what you're doing in terms of driving in order to succeed. And a dodge! Or you could just dodge the shock and really good. also succeed just the same. Really good for them. Not quite going to catch up to Mero, I don't think, but that is definitely going to be useful 
was able to dodge the shock in third, is now in second by a considerable margin over that King Boo player that I believe got second in the first race. It's a car, so it's going to be pretty running close now. into Brady. Brady, yes sir. And Fishy Business maybe looking to hold this shroom for the shortcut over to the left. Yes, he is. And oh, bomb is he going to do anything risky with this bomb? Ooh, no. Doesn't look like it. Gonna He's going to be holding that hold bomb for now. Yeah, going to hold it out behind him. And unfortunately, oh, no. running into that car, I, if I were him, I'd just drop the bomb behind me right now. Oh, this is going to be close. Place. Mayro kind of... Uh, Mayro be taking first line. However, Fishy Business taking still second. Still going to make his way into first and get not a lap four bomb snipe, unfortunately. Not a lap four bomb snipe. Content. Pretty unfortunate. Yeah. Uh oh, oh. Another top two on the commentary, which I guess is to be expected because we want to put the best players on stream to show you guys the best possible gameplay experience. We want good content here. Exactly. Always nice to see something. Yeah. Second place now on 11 points at the moment. So if they are able to put up the same number of points in the back half that they are in the front half, then they will be beating out Skilled Roy by one point. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Mero very well establishing themselves and is looking to be moving on to the finals here. Uh, Skilled Roy back there in Mero's camera waiting in anticipation to see if everything will align in his favor. He, all he can do is watch and hope that his 21 points are good enough to move him on to play eight more races on these DLC tracks down at 150cc. Toad Definitely Circuit coming be, in. Definitely uh, be very close. Yep. Fishy Vistas needs to uh, yeah. do something good. Yeah, these three players all on 10, 10, and 11 points respectively. All three Looks of them like easily he... have a good chance of making their way into the finals. So... It looks like they it's going to be a to tight battle out. between those three. They need to get at least 12 more points. Yeah, I think. those two need Pretty to get. Sure. Those two need to get 12 points, and if that King Boo player uh, remains in second, then he's going to need another 11. Oh yeah. And that King Boo player that we were mentioning before, able to hold up the front here strong, but the uh, two stream players able to quickly outline them and make their way back into top two where they started the race. Fishy Business looking for somewhere to use this mushroom and decides to cut off as much of the grass as possible. Unfortunately, cutting off a little too much and losing as many turbo. Exactly. Yeah, was, if you, uh, shoot, if you uh, shroom there and then uh, yeah. lose your mini turbo there, it could, it could definitely lose you a lot, yeah. a lot of time. Yeah. Fishy Business just hopped over the pipe there. I knew that that lip gave you a lot of air for no reason, but I've never seen someone hop clean over the pipe. That looked really weird. That actually looked really interesting. I don't know what I saw. Either way, though, that. Fishy Business is in a really good spot right now. Four reds in second. Gonna back them and is not worried about Mero. He's fine I with letting Mero get... Fishy Business yeah. wants to hold he's fine, second. He's fine with letting Mero get first Chilling because... It, because what Fishy Biz because what Mero does it does not matter to him. It's what the other players right next to him do. And Ooh. in terms of those other players, that will be that King Boo growing up faster and oh. likely shrooming up or drafting up one or the other and stealing second. And now just needs four points, which I believe would be fourth in order to move on. So yeah, this King Boo yeah. player is going to need to get fourth in this last race in order to make it to the finals. If they don't, or if one of the other players behind them does not, then we are going to be seeing Skilled Roy for another eight races. Oh, so unfortunately, a, unfortunately, a repick of Shroom Ridge coming hey, in there. Man. They like the track. I yeah. respect them for it. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. We know, we know you like your Shroom Ridge. Thankfully, though, the only repick on the table, and we are Ooh. able to avoid it just barely. <laughs> For the second time today, we were barely able to avoid a track that we do not want, yeah, to, see. Not want to see. And our last 200cc race of the night is going to be on Chaco So Mountain. the person who's on 18 right now, they only need at least four. So I believe they need at least fourth. Fourth place, I, I think. I believe fourth, because it's a seven-player run. So yes, fourth. Oh no, the fourth is uh, four points. So yeah, if they get yeah, four yeah, points, okay, yeah, yeah. they'll be through by okay, one point. Okay. So that is all that King Boot player is aiming to do. If they can do more, good for them. However, Mero with that red, looking to stop that one from happening. Mero first. is already, I believe, guaranteed to move on. I believe he's already solidified first, getting Fishy first place. Fishy business could still, I think, 
they still have a chance. They do, yes. They, they got third in the last race, and if they're able to hold on to first, then they will more than likely outscore the King Boo player, and will have more than enough 21 points in order to move on. However, Ooh. the King Boo's in first yeah, right now, so the King Boo it's going to be a battle between those yeah, two. Fully aware of the situation at hand, and will do anything necessary to stop Fishy Business from moving on. Fishy Business with the same mindset, though, throwing up that red immediately. And gonna that may not be the greatest thing for him because Fishy first. Business is now going to get a box in third, which could be a much better item. Fishy Business getting a little trigger happy with his items here, and now he's going to have to fend off the King Boo player as they both get shocked into the item set. Fishy Business quickly able to outline and then pull out that red for defense. And it's going to be up to this last lap here. Both of them are still up here. And this is going to be a close one. Fishy Business grabbing Fishy the coin. Fishy Business to needs to get to a double expected. here at least for yeah. defense. Doesn't Goes go for the double. Goes for the double and will probably be pulling a coin here. And this and is what does. happens. And that red may solidify things, barring a like catastrophic fail King from Boo. that King Boo there. And if they are able to hold on to second, then they are going to be moving on to the finals, which and they the do. And the King Boo does. Yeah. Congratulations. That will be more than 21 points, and they will be playing eight more races tonight, back down on 150cc. So good for them. Well done and to GG's that to, uh, player. And 200 redemption. Yeah. That's about it for our 200 redemption. We have a finals run to go a play finals in. Room. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So uh, what are you thinking going into this final? You nervous? Um, pretty nervous. I haven't really played land, so it's, I'm not really used to it. Also, yeah. I, need to, I need vibrating on. Yeah. The stream setup uh, has uh, rumble turned off for the pro controller. So um, for the players that do use it, which me and Lucky will both do, uh, it's not that big of a deal. However, it does somewhat change things. All it does is, you know, uh, make a slight difference. But any difference is enough in a game like Mario Kart. It just where it really helps with the startup. Like usually when I do yep. two, like after like at yeah, two, I noticed. <laughs> what I I noticed for on my first race on the stream setup when I started holding down two, I was like, oh no. <laughs> but I, w I, w I was able to get through it just fine, and you were too. Oh my god! We yeah, both, yeah, we both I think have I burned out like plans. once. Yeah, Darky's back. Darky's back. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! And we're gonna be playing against him as well. Yeah, we're gonna play wherever against him. wherever he went that that way. He went that way. But uh, looking forward to the finals. Gonna have two new casters because we are both playing in the finals. But looking forward to it, and hope the rest of you guys are too. And uh, good luck. Yep. Good luck. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys then. See you guys.
Uh, yep, uh, I can hear me and uh, I can hear you too. It's quite loud, but what are you going to do? Fishy business is looking very different today. So is Mayro, actually. Yeah, I gotta say. Um, man, 
Is this like a makeup? Oh, okay. Is, is, it, is there a way to lower the lower my mic, uh, my ear set volume? Because this is hurt. Do I like breaking your ears? Mildly. I think it's down here. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna fuck with that. It's okay. I'm oh, my language. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna mess with it. It's. Yeah, I'll fruitless. be fine. I listen to uh, I listen to Penny's song at max volume. Dun, 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 <laughs> and she's got her hair tied up. Oh, I won't do it on stream. All right. All right. What do we got? We got Paris begin. Promenade. Paris I pro Promenade. 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 I don't know. I, I, I can't speak French. And uh, oh, we're off to a great start with two wild wigglers. How original. So you're doing that one. Yeah, I'll do left wild wiggler and you do right wild wiggler. How original. I like the unique combinations. Oh, wait a minute. All right, and uh, let's see. Awoken is indeed um, using wild wiggler. He's got a red shell. Oh, he's got a um, he's got a attack item. And <laughs> uh, oh, wow, this is riveting. This is riveting. I can't tell who's who. Oh, Sharp they're right turn. Oh, they're making a left. Can you do that in France? I don't know. <laughs> Keep going, weaving through those pipes, getting the double box, pulling a unknown item, which I'm not allowed to say. Darky, using the super horn to uh, hit another player. Oh wait, oh wait, that's oh Darky's up. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it was. I thought it was uh, good to try to go in the middle and then like avoid those. Things. Yeah, I guess you can. Uh, I guess you can always go for the drift, though. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's optimal. Everything's optimal. It's pretty great. Yeah, I mean, you know, with these very optimal builds right here, you yeah. know, Wild Wiggler, Roller Wheels, you know, everything I see on Worldwide with twelve. You know, I'm like the one one inkling using the bike, and you know. Oh no, but they have the different colored rollers. They must be. Uh, they oh, so they. Good. Oh, okay. We can tell them apart. Yeah. All right. It's. <laughs> It was like an episode of Fairly Odd Parents where they can't tell anyone apart except until Timmy, uh, they're all blobs in that episode of a wish. And then just Timmy puts on like a pink like hat and it's like, ah, oh, there we go. I'm very sad to say I have not seen that episode, but I've seen every other episode. It's a good one. Um, but all right, this race, um, I gotta say, absolutely riveting. I mean, I can't, I, I feel like my, I have, my eyes have gone to sleep already. I mean, um, I just feel like. This is a great race. We gotta, we gotta be very respectful. Paris oh. Promenade is a very interesting map. If you could trick twice here, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like yeah, I said this Paris map quite pretty. I mean, a lot of room for drifting on this map. I mean, yeah, it's like a sleigh ride. Not being able to talk about the items is so hard. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, we got stoplight items right now. Never mind. The race is over. And uh, coming to second place, but only. Losing to Awoken, who comes in first, both using the same combo. Yeah, you know, I, I think um, I think the blue roller wheels. I think those are actually the superior tech. Um, like, yeah, I think um, red wheels are frauds. I kind of I kind of agree with you. Yeah, like Azure roller rollers. Why would you want to use? Oops. There you go. Um, <laughs> why would you want to use the base game one? Yeah, I mean for the uh, base. Yeah. Lame. All you right. You unlock the Azure ones, right? What? You have to unlock the blue ones, right? I I don't remember. I remember. <laughs> All right. I had to unlock it like this. a couple weeks ago. Oh, I, oh no! So I haven't, I haven't had to do the Market Eight Deluxe unlock since like 2017, and the Market Eight original ones since 2014. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of Toad on screen because they don't have a choice. Um, this is a uh, this is a regime. Um, oh, yeah, everything's predetermined in this. Oh yeah. No, I know. Um, I should probably put my glasses on. Yeah, I can see it fine enough. Oh, you need to be able to see the items because you can't comment on them anyway. Uh, I can see the items. Okay, well, yeah. All right, and we're How many fingers is Waluigi holding up? He's not holding up. He's holding, he's holding the handlebars. That's a good point. Of yeah. the uh, eh, wild wiggler. <laughs> the eh, eh, wild All right, oh, wow. Awoken flung all the way to 10th oh. already. Wow. Rough hit, rough times for Awoken. Bagging oh, and uh, what's uh, Darkie's falling even far farther, and there's in 9th uh, yeah, and 11th place. I think they're bagging for items. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess that must be optimal. I guess that makes sense, because there's quite a few shortcuts in this map. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. You know, it's, it's, it's one way of playing. You yeah, know. So there's this long one here that you can just kind of... I'm liking, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, they may not be so original in the card choices, but the strategy, I gotta say, pretty original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backing on a course like this, I mean, it could be a detriment if they overback, but they could also just pull some crazy items and pull through. And, well, uh, 
Yeah, Dark is taking his time in the back. Um, Awoken is uh, getting hit by uh, an item, and uh, ooh, unfortunate. Uh, we got okay. a blue. We got a. Um, we got a uh, explosive shell that just exploded. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really like this dirt. Uh, I didn't either. I, I kind of lost interest a while ago. Um, <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, we're uh, seeing... Uh, oh, wow. Awoken's having a rough time. Yeah, Man, they've 10 plays. spots. Darky was in second. Awoken, oh. or Darky was in last. Awoken, Awoken is in second. It? Oh, man. I think it's all over for Awoken. Oh, rough times all around. 10th place. It's all over. Those bagging Back it up, folks. strats. Yeah, Those bag bagging strats were really quite nice. <laughs> More like body bagging. Oh, what's up? You're, you're done? Oh, no, no. I was joking. Oh, oh, oh. I thought... Okay. I thought you got two points. <laughs> no, I was no, just being facetious. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. I wonder which one we're going to pick. Not John Chocolate Mountain. Oh, they da, all da, picked da, 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 da. Some of the most infamous, not infamous, but some of the most famous music in all of the Mario Karts. Yes, I, I love the song. Like I was, when I was driving on the way here, I had I had it playing in the car, and I had to not, I had to make sure not to speed. You got to get ready to. <laughs> You gotta you know, switch gears into 200 cc in your uh, <laughs> Toyota Corolla. Yeah, you go 200 miles per hour. Yeah. Uh, off, so I can explain. <laughs> <laughs> Can't explain that one, especially when you throw shells at people. I, could, I swear, it's, it's it's not littering. Oh, and oh, Awoken, uh, man, he couldn't even get the boost. Rough. Unless of course they're vacuuming again. Which uh, that didn't work out too hot last time. Yeah, it worked out for for good for good old dark for good old darky, but you know. You gotta love the. Uh, Nope. Oh, and <laughs> I was gonna say, Woken trying to give us a, uh, trying to make us get a flash, uh, a flash view. I guess that uh, that shortcut's too small to go for. Yeah, yeah. What's what's the more optimal way to use? I guess at the end, the ending shortcut, the one that's coming up here. These boulders, the only way that you can really tell them they're coming down is the shadows. It's a little, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be. Yeah, I mean, you know, but, you know, yeah, pe some people know. Uh, some, you know, things know how to do this. Like, you know, like, that's how you know an anvil's going to fall from the sky. That's or true, a, that's or true. Or piano is safe. And as in cartoon fashion, you hear that right before you get dead by whatever's falling. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're a tune, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because if, if you're, like, in a cartoon, then you could just kind of, like, get squished for a couple seconds and then be fine again, like in Mario Kart. Yeah. In real life, if you get hit by an anvil, it doesn't go so well. Yeah, it can hurt a little bit. Yeah, I've I, heard that it's not so good for your health, but that's just a myth. I think. Uh, uh, for your health. You ever talk to Steve Brule? <laughs> Great show. Yeah. Anyway, how are we doing? Oh, wow. Uh, all right, Darky is in 10th, and Awoken is in 5th. Um, Awoken going for the cut there. Ooh, but getting hit. Darky using that uh, the mushroom, and as well as the star, to go for that cut. Yeah, I mean, this is a... Uh... Oh, man, uh, Darky in 10th again. Awoken is, um, Awoken's making some progress. Who's in first? It's a Roy. He's way ahead of there. Roy's our boy. Roy Roy's is our, our boy. boy. Every Roy. All right, Awoken has a golden trump. Look at the I... speed in which he's clicking the button. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, is he using a turbo controller? I saw. Uh, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Gotta invest in, in the, uh, or not invest. <laughs> investigate. Yep, yep. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. All right, Awoken's really going for this, uh, this redemption. Yeah, oh. this isn't redemption. But, oh, oh no, you, mean, well, you like, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to come back from he the burn out, burn out the beginning and then coming all the way back. Did he get? He gets third. It's uh, that's pretty good. That is. Yeah, that's, that's uh, that, yeah. He's, he's going for the bronze. Yeah, some fierce competition out here, and third is not a bad score. Neither is fifth. Yeah. Neither is any of these. If you got to the finals, then good on you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just glad they're using different tires again, or else I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. I know. Yeah, it'd be very unfortunate if they switched. Oh yeah, it would just whole stream would just yeah. crash. Yeah, I. I mean, pretty much. I mean, I, at least well. You know, maybe they could use different cards or characters. I mean, no, 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 I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, uh, no, 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 they, no, nonsense. You got to use the uh, meta, or totally original pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best, I think pick, best pick in the game. It's not like you see it every time you try to go into worldwide and also regional, too. Is Oops. It, do we have Twitch chat somewhere? I have no idea. Hey, wait, I'm going to pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we can see Twitch chat. All righty. Now all of you... Oh. Oh, and we're... Oh, it's time to get Coconut Mall. Oh, uh, Coconut Mall is next. This is a fun track. You know, I've seen a lot of things about how this track is, like, worse than the one in Wii, but I really think they're both pretty unique. Yeah, I mean, like, I haven't played the one in Wii in a while, so... Yeah. And don't also, forget the 3DS version. 
I feel like all of these tracks are a little bit babied because you. Oh. How many Awoken. wild regulars were on the starting line there? Uh, too many. I can tell you that. We Awoken cannot. is burning out. So Ooh. He's in the race. Awoken burned out again. Uh, maybe that was on purpose because he is bagging. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, Taking the shortcut. I like it. No trick there from Awoken. Try to get the low trick and we missed it. Ooh, might need some more practice. Yeah. Darky in second, only to Encore 3, who is the third Encore. Yeah, in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's the third the third Encore. We're um it's like the Krusty Krab 2 in the SpongeBob movie. Ooh, Woken is hitting that little that little post to swim down to use both of those mushrooms. Man, he's having a rough race. I mean Darky over there out there is doing great though. Like second place is nothing to, is nothing to sneeze at. I know we're not allowed to comment on items, but if it's like a mushroom. Yeah, I don't give it yeah, let's just comment on whatever, I don't care. Yeah. Who cares? See like that item we shouldn't say anything about. Yeah, that item is uh, very, uh, you know, we can't say a thing. It's, we're under an NDA. Yeah. Or an NIA. Non wait, that doesn't work. And, Gosh wait. dang it. And, uh, you know, it's uh, three letters that means you can't disclose information. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Awoken avoiding the. Ooh! The edges time. Awoken getting hit by another shell. And Darky just got hit as well. He's going to be knocked into second by Encore 3, who is taking the lead. Encore 3 blocking that uh, red shell from Darky very smartly, I guess. Unless, you know. Uh, oh you man, it. Awoken got hit again? Rough. Are they still in the balcony now? Maybe you can uh, go shopping. Yeah, Darky getting uh, double double boxes with for two items, which I shall not disclose. Yeah, yeah, and Darky's in. Uh, oh, Darky's rocking second right now. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. He's still in second. Okay, First never mind. Second's very close. Encore 3 is gone. Nope, not 3. Uh, One. Nothing. Another. Oh, when he touches the wall. Just a little, uh, little, little shaky there. Darky is super horning the uh, the cars. He really doesn't like those drivers. Might get a ticket yeah. for that. We'll see. Yeah. All right, Darky gets second and <sighs> Awoken, Awoken gets six. that's six. Rough times. Yeah. Oh, and Mara, Mara's doing well. Mara's in the top half right now. Great stuff, Mara. Where am I? Oh, you're in you're in sixth. No, you're amazing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're proud of you. All right, let's use using tilt controls. Oh, okay, nobody. All right, Fast and Furious 2, Tokyo Drift. Wait. Little known fact: if you use the uh, the text uh, the text yeah, I'm using tilt controls, it means you automatically switch to tilt controls, whether you wanted to or not. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it that's a, like that's something a very um, under underrepresented fact in um, in a Mario Kart. But yeah. yeah, that's why you see nobody uh, having fun with the tilt controls because they don't want to play tilt controls. By the way, we're lying. Oh yeah, we. I mean, we have to we have to disclose. We are the uh, we are the on, we are an honest media source. Yeah, we, we don't want to. Uh, oh man. Uh, another Awoken burnout by Awoken. Yeah. Twelfth place. It's such a rough start. I don't know if those are on purpose. Because I, I feel like the meta is so advanced that maybe burning out is, is a good thing if you want to bad. I don't know. It hasn't worked, been working out for him. Uh, he, uh, he, ended up, he ended up rocking a uh, six last race. He got the double boxes. But I'm, great items. I'm, there, I'm sure there's some method to his madness. Yeah. Darky. Darky's uh, a little. Ooh, Darky as well. All right. Uh, but I, I know Darky's going to pull through. I believe in him. Oh, we got foot comments. Oh, uh, I'm uh, temporarily down a commentator, folks. Um, but, uh, well, all I can say is, uh, what is what's the fit chat saying? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, with tilt controls, um, yeah, I can confirm at least one player is using tilt controls. All right, we are gonna get Russian on the mic here in just a second. Oh, should so I hop off? Russian. No, Russian is gonna oh. join you. Okay. All right, oh. I'm getting a new comp here. I'm getting a uh, good fellow Russian here. Uh, Hello. We're uh, currently talking. We're currently talking about the originality of the, of uh, you know these players using the wonderful Wild Wiggler combo. You don't see that mm. online, you know, every yeah, yeah. time. I've never seen this before, actually. Yeah. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. I never, yeah, you know, I'm surprised that, oh, wow, Awoken's finally, you know, he's finally gotten a decent place. He's been having a really rough time uh, this whole time. I mean, like, mm -hmm. he got six last race, and he, man. Um, no. I haven't been, I haven't been looking. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, um, now it's been a it's been a rough time for him. But Darkie's been doing pretty well. I mean, like this last race he got six, but you know he can come back. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, we have the Twitch chat right here, by the way. Oh okay, great, great, um, great, great. <laughs> 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 All right. And, uh, oh, we have Shroom Ridge. Um, all right. Man. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, we have an original man. We have an original man here. We have a Roy here in the t in the top uh, top row. I oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Roy, Roy is Roy's our boy. And a Morton. And, uh, oh, cool. Wilkin actually got the uh, start this time. Proud of him. Good job. Let's go. Um, oh, so many slip streams going off. <laughs> Slippy Toad. <laughs> Everyone just boosting at the same time and in unison. <laughs> a unison yeah. of wheeze and wise. Yeah. Uh, it's a hive mind. <laughs> yeah, I remember Marker 7 had uh, Honey Hive as the, one of the battle maps, and <laughs> every time you went online, you always played Honey Hive. It didn't matter what you picked, it always <laughs> went Honey Hive. That's really funny. Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, so. So far, uh, Awoken is, is hugging the front pretty good. Yeah, Awoken. Yeah, Awoken is. I think. I think Awoken maybe like. He's. He's. Doing, I feel like he's uh, starting to like. You know, get some good ideas in there. Um, <laughs> I'm, I wonder if he's gonna pull the shortcut now. Uh, all right, he is. He is. He's he going is for and forth. he gets the item and a red shell. It's. It might be his. It might be his. His uh, race. I mean, the, a lot of. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I mean, a lot of these races have been rough pickings for him, but. Yeah. Um, you know, he, um, but you know, it looks like he's holding on second. You know, he's a little, he's shrunk down a little bit now, but you know, there's always time for a growth spurt. <laughs> Which is Ooh, right now. Third place, don't hit the truck. Okay, he's good. I was, I was, a little, I was a little concerned there. Ooh, he, he dodged a bullet <laughs> there, literally. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. Ooh, Ooh. oh, yeah. A little too close to the center of the, the road. There. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't see it coming. He's got to pay better, pay better attention. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, he's got the Fire Flower. Um, going, going for the Flame strategy. Another bullet incoming. We're, this is really just our, all out. All right, Darky. Right Darky's pulling pulling back up. Darky wants to come back. He's close by. Really anything here besides this. Oh, don't hit the car. There you go. Oh, ooh, pulling back in. Ooh. All right, who's he getting it? Oh, looks like he's got fourth. Right, Darky's oh. in third. Who got first? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Ooh, actually, Wilkin got fifth. Another rough race for him. Yeah, he's he was he, so dominant in pools. Yeah, yeah, but you know, every yeah, the, the, the power of Babylon came down. You know, mm. it happens. Um, but um, yeah, they're doing their best. And uh, all right, what race are we on? I think we're in a. Uh, uh, I shouldn't think. All right, we're on the uh, second to last race, and we're going to Sky Garden on Sky the uh, Garden. on the version of uh, Mario Kart that uh, I feel like the least people played. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly, but yeah. Super Circuit was one that when I was a kid I managed to avoid, and then in high school I contracted it. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's actually pretty, it's actually cool. Yeah, but I don't play it too much. Three way tie for first right now. Oh, cool. <laughs> you grab your own phone. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've, lost, we've lost sight of the stream chat, folks, and I, I we're too lazy to open it on our own phone. Oh, oh are, are you are opening it? Yep, yep. Okay. All right, and I'm seeing a lot of Wild Wiggler and one Roy. Roy's our boy. Gotta Roy's remember our boy. that. In the seventh the race. True underdog. All right, let's hope, let's hope Woken gets the uh, rock. Yeah, he's good. He's, good. he's got the rocket star. There we go. I'm proud of him. He's, he's, he's getting, getting better this whole time. All right, this and Darky's in second. Nice job, Darky. I'm proud of you. Already close, but Roy in, in first right now. Yeah, Roy's our boy, man. And uh, uh, regret to have my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, all right. Well, oh, Awoken wasted his mushroom. He could have used it on the shortcut. Ooh, oh, Darky with the oh. no mushroom shortcut. Oh, oh, nice, nice. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty nice on Darky. He did a pretty good one. But uh, who's playing? There, they've gapped. Like there's, there's a big hole. Oh yeah, there is. Where, where a person should be there. And there's a bullet bill uh, tra trailing the racers. Uh, uh, someone's, someone's getting there, getting back in the race. Ooh, and Awoken gets hit. Rough. 
But uh, he's still in fourth. Yeah, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing some good stuff from, from Lil' Kid. It uh, really is just a race for second right now. Yeah. But Darky is doing real nice, actually. Um, yeah. Second, like, I mean, ooh, Lil' Kid gets hit again. Uh, don't fall into seventh. Ooh. And, um, ooh, and ooh, Zeus is in the, Zeus is in the house. Ooh, so this could turn the tides oh, first. Oh, oh, Woken hits the banana. Man, oh, and he's going over. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. And, uh, oh, come Darky, on. Oh, Dark, oh, oh no, Dark's got hit. so okay. many places to the lightning bolt. Man, it's just, like, oh, it's a like, vicious cycle. It's, it's chaos. Ooh, and a Woken gets hit by the, okay, no, no, he's, Woken's a good, though. He's going to, um, yeah, no. He's getting sexed, okay. I mean. What, Darky what? had the ability to come back. Yeah, yeah, Darky did really well. Awoken, six is it's okay, mm. but I mean, it's top half, you know? He got the happy victory music, so I'll give him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So next is the last one, Ninja Hideaway. I hate this map. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, no, Ninja Hideaway, I love this one. Dude, it's got really? like, it's like, it's very subtly Warrior War themed. Mm. Because it's got, if you notice, it has the dump, it has the dumpling, um, it has a dumpling on the front of the uh, building as well as the Wario mustache. Uh. I mean, I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be Diamond City Castle and the Mario mandate uh, made that not viable, but, mm. um, you know, we'll see. But, we'll see. Uh, this is our final race. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, see, it's got the dumpling. It's not his nose, yeah, it's the dumpling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, a lot of the warrior, the ninjas in Warrior War, they like the dump dumplings. And uh, here we go. Oh, and Awoken burns out again. He's having a really hard time. Yeah, um, Darky. But Darky, yeah, Darky. a pretty good start right now. Man, Darky's doing, yeah, like seriously, like second. Oh, Awoken got hit again in 12. Rough. But, um, yeah, we got um, <coughs> we got Darky and, uh, ooh, dropping to sixth place. But, ooh, ooh. Yeah, getting, hard, getting he, hit hard. He wanted to go for the, for the skip, but it just didn't line up. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, this I mean this map was. I think this was definitely one of the more challenging Mario Kart maps. Like of yeah. eight, I it's a good map. Like it's not it's not bone dry ruins, which is both challenging and not very fun. Yeah. But um, this one's fun but challenging. It's just the right way, way it should be. We just need a little bit more time to get it done. Yeah, it's a, it's all. I feel like a lot of Mario Kart ends up being memorization at the end yeah. of the day. Because I mean, like, sorry. Uh, no, you go ahead. No, no, you go. The <laughs> these I'm two working. players are. Uh, uh, really showing off what, like, optimization Ooh. of this map could be. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, Darky's, do Darky's nice, he's, you know, he's doing fifth. I mean, Awoken just got hit pretty hard a little bit there, but... Yeah. Ooh. And Mayro's in front of him. Uh, all right, let's see what Mayro's going to pull. Ooh, Darky, uh... That was, oh, sorry. Uh, Mayro, um, Awoken actually did a very a nice little cut there. It was very close, pixel perfect almost, but he mm -hmm. did it. Um, I will say. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Awoken's got a bunch, a bunch of mushrooms, but can he use it right? Um, he, it's very possible that he can make a comeback right now. This whole map is like pretty. There's so much room for optimization, like you said. Yeah. Ooh, but it's a wall there. Rough pickings. Um, okay, Darky gets the skip. Little oh, Awoken's got the shortcut. Very nice. Very nice, little Awoken. Good one. Well. A little more, little more Awoken, you can, you can get another place or two. Darky, a Darky is a second. real danger with his horn right now. He could oh. really take it. Oh, yeah, Darky's aggressive. Oh, Ooh. but uh, Zeus is in oh. the house. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, hey, Darky's in first. Keep it. He Darky's in first. He's, he's got it. He's got it. He's almost got it. Just to, Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Ooh. oh, and you see a little mini pop-up from Darky. He's like, I can't believe Ooh. it. Ah, uh, no, Awoken gets fourth. All right, I think, so. was that his best? I think he did, he had, like, one better race, but that, that's pretty good for Awoken. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And, uh, looks Ooh. like Iron Man has won. I, I've heard, um, I'm getting a word that uh, Disney is going to sue. <laughs> DMCA, we can't have that. All right. All right, well, this Jeez, this has been Encore, um, Encore Mario Kart. Uh, it's good to be back. Yeah. A lot of fun we've all had here, and uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for hopefully next time. Stay fresh. Very cool. All right, I all think right. we take this off. Yeah.